Let it be so, Father God. Let it be so. Let it be so. Lord, right now we just release the presence of the Lord in the Senate chamber. We just release the hovering glory of God Almighty in the Senate chamber. Arizona Republican State Senator Anthony Kern invited an anti-abortion prayer group to the Senate floor. Seen in a video filmed by an anonymous attendee, Kern led the group through a prayer and speaking in tongues as they knelt over the state seal. What's happening in this country? We are getting crazier and crazier. That was a prayer circle being spoken in tongues that was led by Republican state senator in Arizona, Kerr, who invited this prayer group to come and make up a language and pretend that some sort of channeling of God right before the abortion restriction vote that decided they can uphold an 1864 law from before Arizona was a state and take away all abortion rights except for the life of the mother, something that even Donald Trump does not agree with having done, but also does agree with having done. I mean, take a look at this clip. Oh, did Arizona go too far? Yeah, they did, and that'll be straightened out. And as you know, it's all about states' rights. That'll be straightened out. And I'm sure that the governor and everybody else are going to bring it back into reason, and that will be taken care of, I think, very quickly. So for 52 years, people have wanted to end Roe v. Wade to get it back to the states. We did that. It was an incredible thing, an incredible achievement. We did that, and now the states have it, and the states are putting out what they want. It's the will of the people. You see, Donald Trump has pretty clearly, over the years, it seems to me at least, utilized abortion services, or if not, he certainly has been explicitly pro choice in the past, but to win his re-election, he, of course, installed on the Supreme Court during his first term three very conservative Supreme Court justices. The major point of that was to take away abortion access in this country and reverse Roe versus Wade, and Trump's very proud of that, something that couldn't be done in a very long time. Time. It was an incredible thing, an incredible achievement. We did that. As he waves his hand around like a seal, asking for more fish to be thrown into his ridiculous mouth. But he also says that Arizona went too far, and that Florida probably went too far, and that Florida will probably change that, and that Arizona will definitely change it. But it's so beautiful because the states get to decide this. Get to decide what? Stuff he disagrees with and thinks is bad. So if it's so bad, then why not just have a country that has national laws, like countries do, for things that affect everybody in the country, like a woman right to control her own body, to have bodily autonomy. And many Christian people, many Catholics, still can be anti-abortion, as they generally are, in their own lives, but still, as they often do, realize that they shouldn't dictate their religious beliefs on other people, on other women, and just humans in general with any sort of sense of reasonability, rationality, and kindness realize you should not dictate for people what it is that they decide they get to do with their own bodies. Because Trump says it's the will of the people that decides this, and that's a great thing. Except it's not. It's the will of men. Mostly white Christian nationalist men trying to make religion part of this country, blurring the already completely erased line, nearly completely erased line between church and state that is supposed to be so much an ironclad part of our nation, part of our founding documents. But instead, it's only 31% of state legislatures that are women. So it's it's not quite the will of the people, it's the will of 69% of men that are deciding things for women because they love to control women's bodies. But not everybody. There are Democrats running for office, like current President Joe Biden, who would be an advocate for women. And when asked today what he thinks of the abortion ruling and how Arizona should react, he gave a very clear, error-free response. What do you say to the people of Arizona right now who are witnessing a law go in place that dates back to the Civil War era? Elect me. I'm in the 20, 20th century, 21st century, not back then. They weren't even a state. I find... Yes, electing him would be better. And yes, overall, the sentence got to a decent place. But really, I'm from the 20th century. I mean 20, 20th century. I mean 21st century. And Arizona wasn't even a state which is true, but you didn't really say the sentence about that fully in a way that could be understood by those who don't know the fact already. But still, we're going to vote for you. 
And still you should as well, because it doesn't matter if the president is very old and stumbles on many of his thoughts and doesn't always say coherent things. It's about the moral position and the moral position that you want to be reflected in the law. And that, hands down, plain and simple, is reflected by the Biden administration, not by the Trump administration. So let the will of the people decide to let women continue to have rights and control over their own body. And to do that, you have to vote Democrat in this election. It's just as simple as that, even though it's very frustrating. It's also very simple. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. Follow me on Instagram at Ben Glebe for lots more. Thank you.